Hello everybody, my name is Jacob, and welcome back to Deadly Premonition. I'm here once again with Professor J. Hey, hey. There's mo- which- which rickety old prison bed should we- Wait, actually, hold on. This is a lumber mill. This is an actual yeah. lumber mill. This isn't like a front, because they told us this place was active. What are these beds? What is this, um, like, prison, like, warden yeah, room? These people are pulling some long shifts, I guess. Nothing's in there. And nothing. Oh, hell yeah! Smoke salmon! Well, um, I'm sure that's still good. <laughs> that's cut like steak. Oh, my oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Are there other guns that I can take out? Oh, actually, yeah. Can I have, can I have those bullets, please? So wait, wait, hold on. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Give me the other steel pipe. Your inventory. Oh no. So wait, can I only have? Oh damn it. Okay, hold on, because I'm gonna need those. Put item away. Let's put my shotgun shells away. I don't need those yet, I don't think. And let's put my the stool stabilizers away. And then we'll get the steel pipe. What? What's all this nonsense? What are you talking about? Do I have to like back out of it and then interact with it again? Mm. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. Okay. What? Whatever then, I guess. I guess we can't have them. This is why we can't have nice things. Quite literally. Um, mm -hmm. No, we're not going to change suit. Um, I am going to save. Because I don't know what we're about to run into. Yeah, I mean, we heard that creepy voice on the phone, so we can only assume we're going to be assaulted after we leave the safe room. But So I think I kind of picked up how this game works. I think that when you're doing a, like, find the clues mission, you're yes. not going to get attacked. Whereas... Ooh, cool. Oh, I mm -mm. can't take the steel pipe, but I can have the lollipop. Um, uh. I think when you're doing a mission like this, you can't yeah. get attacked, and then... Ooh, yes, please. Hey, yeah. That is a old ass looking key. Well, if we sleep here, will it heal us? No, it, sleeping oh. doesn't heal. I don't think. We could try. What's the point? Just to pass time? But that just makes you hungry. No, you do have a sleep meter at the bottom. Yeah. Okay, so you need to be well fed. Mm. I don't know what. Oh no, it does that. do health. Oh, okay. Food though. It's yep, a good thing we. You're trading. It's a good thing we found that smoked salmon. That lollipop on the ground. Main side. Oh, main story and side mission stuff. Ooh, that smoked salmon filled us up quite a bit. Uh, the, it'll do do the job, and you know, if you're an expectant mother, it's great for you. I get those vitamin fish oils and such. Ah, I. I definitely as a kid. See, okay. Never mind. Hold on. Teleported. On guard. So. Oh, this bent. My dude looks exactly like George Lucas. Okay, no, he's just looked like George Lucas, like to a T. I did love that. Like. When he broke the pipe, he was just like, oh, I will casually throw this away and pull out one that looks exactly the same. Yep. So I guess that throws my, like, you can't get attacked theory out of the water. It's weird, these things aren't proper ghosts because they're not immaterial. Like, what even are they, though? Oh, okay. Okay, Still big, no big boy that. over here. Yeah, we don't know what they are, whether or not they actually exist on this plane. I'm so confused as to the way the inventory system works. Yeah. I hear them. Make sure you're not getting snuck oh, up. Oh, there we go. Hey. I will slice at you. Yeah. Call me Leon. Thank him. 
Leon Kennedy. So I think there must be two different inventories for like weapons yeah. and um, for food. Yeah. Didn't yeah, we already pick like this you up? We have a limited number of slots for weapons. Didn't we already pick the steel pipe up? There may be more than one. Yeah, Look at the pile. there's a bunch of them. Oh, it literally they respawn. Oh. Oh, okay. Unlimited pipe. That seems like a bit of an exploit. And another oh. one. Oh, no, this is a bar. Bar superior or inferior? I don't know. Let's see here. Excuse me for a second, sir, as you writhe on the ground. I want to look at my steel pipe. Let's switch away from our mission knife, because that's taking, like, three hits, whereas the bars take them out immediately. Hmm. Do I want to get rid of my... It looks like you still have four slots open. Yeah. Short, speed, fast, durability, high. So I'll throw the pipe away and pick up the bar, because the knife the knife will keep for, for a pickle. Yeah, that's literally... We're Gordon Freeman now. Right on. Everyone put on your goatees. It always amused me that, like... Because I don't think Gordon Freeman had a look until Half-Life 2. Yeah, kind of like... It was uh, all the first person, right? Yeah, kind of like Chell. Like, it yeah. wasn't until Portal 2 when people, like, hacked the... Observe. It's rusted all no, over. You could see letters. yourself in Portal 1. You would just have to put portals into like adjacent spots and then you can look at yourself walking through the other one right but it was like it people didn't really like consider that canon or like pay attention to that that much until portal mm. 2 when it was higher res and like you were addressed more directly but it yes. just always amused me when i saw half-life 2 where i was like oh what does gordon freeman look like wait this man is like a science nerd why does he look why does he look like your friend's dad who goes to the bar on Saturdays? Okay. That startled me. I'm not uh, even going. I, I, I saw her out of the corner of my eye. Oh, what is this person? May not be able to jump, but he can stand. What was that sound effect? You did not Easy. just do the, like, cartoon stock footage sound effect to me. I think that that is a sound effect in iMovie that comes with the program. Oh, dude, I, when I was younger, I made stop motion movies with, like, Legos and stuff. And when I say stop motion, I mean I would move my hand, I would move them around with my hands while filming and tell myself no one will pay attention to the hands. <laughs> and I had a, di a three disc set of, like, sound effects. Like, wow. super generic, like you'd buy it at a Dollar Tree, and that sound effect was on it. Oh, I hear a baby. Oh, God. I'm getting PT flashbacks. Yeah, no thank you. I don't want to kill a baby. I don't want to kill a baby, but I will. Yeah. You can't kill what's already dead. Oh, what is the Game of Thrones? What is dead may never die. Yeah, you got me there. I I don't like Game of Thrones, so your guess is as good as mine. Oh, it's getting louder. What the hell is this? Oh my gosh, at the bottom of the screen, I thought it said throw baby instead of throw away. I don't like that the sound is coming from this thing where you can interact it's with the stopped. toilet. Creepy. Oh no, someone had a baby in this toilet. Oh no. Let's observe it Hold first. On. No, I like the bags of Idaho potatoes with the sunglasses on. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold on, observe. What do you see? More it's like a murky water. Potatoes. A sickly blackish red color. You know, if I saw sure blackish water. red water in a toilet, I don't know if I would call that murky. I'm not sure if I'd call that water. It looks like a solid piece of meat. It looks like the goop from Ghostbusters, too. Oh, okay. Otomi, the guy who cut off your genitals several times. He's just yeeting He's who flushed my toilet. That's right. I was letting it mellow. Can if I observe red, the toilet? What does the toilet say now? Nothing here of any interest to me. So all we accomplished was we summoned the madman. Well, it's okay. Shingon. We're prepared now. Oh, bruh. It's not him. 
my god! It fires so fast! Yeah, that was, what, 16 bullets? You were at 180. No, I'm just, watch the front of it. Watch the muzzle. <laughs> it stays one solid texture. Oh, that was great. That's dumb as hell. Wait, is he running away from us? You were given the option to observe. So, hold on. Am I... Cr does this door open both ways? It does. Okay, so I have I officially have no idea where that dude is. Yeah, me neither. Because I would have assumed you would have run into him inside there. Yeah. Is there another door like this that we didn't notice? Um, that we're forgetting? Entirely possible. Is there something in this game that seemed inconspicuous that we didn't notice but is actually extremely important? Hmm, I wonder. A bird's nest. Oh, don't, don't waste your machine gun if we're going to need it for the dude. Yeah, I just got excited. It is fun. It is fun. It would be super cool if next time you go to um, a vending machine, it's like, oh, have a $30 coffee or buy some machine gun bullets. I mean, I, I, if I find one of the one of those treasure chests, not treasure chests, but like the toolboxes, I got plenty of bullets in there that it just didn't let me have. Speaking of bullets, why don't you go ahead and reload now before, you know, you're in a combat All situation. Right. gotcha. Well, I mean with your infinite ammo gun. Oh, true. Because you were halfway through the clip, just so that it doesn't surprise you. That was what? one thing when I was watching your Resident Evil 2 playthrough, and if you guys haven't done that, definitely go watch Jacobs. He and I have both done one. But every time you didn't reload your gun after an encounter, I'm like, oh god, I hope he doesn't come to regret that. That was so weird. When I was facing this, I couldn't reload. Yeah. Yeah, there, there's some stuff in the RE2 playthrough where I was like, okay, so the observation was I can't get through here. No kidding. Really? Yeah. <laughs> there was a lot of stuff in that RE2 playthrough where I was like, ah, we just need to go. We just need to get through this. We can climb this, but he can't climb rock. Oh! Well... Maybe... Oh, the yeah, baby's back! Oh, okay. oh. oh! Oh! Okay, maybe pull out uh, your pole. Uh, I'm trying to move! Pause on that, but yeah. Excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me, guys. Yeah. All right, right. Uh, it broke. They are wailing uh, on you. Uh, I don't think he's taking damage. Uh, uh. Okay, okay, I can attack him. So we need to get further away from this other guy. Uh, excuse He's not me taking for damage anymore. Excuse me, Ooh. guys. We need to heal right now. Do, do you mind if I, you just pause for just one moment? Go for it. Oh boy. Yeah. Ow. Yes, yes. Come on, stand up. Stand up. Okay. Okay. Problem solved. Okay, get that bar. You just broke okay. one. I can only reload when I aim. That's interesting. That's the same in Resident Evil. Eh. I, it's definitely a change that I was not used to. Yeah, old tank control mechanic. Wouldn't it be, I would love it if there was a tank control mode in RE2. Like, that's why I did the typewriter mode, because I, I wanted to keep it as authentic as possible. That makes sense. You might want to go ahead and heal yourself again. You're at less than half health. Oh, true. All we got's band-aids. Well, we gotta make do. I would love if we heal him with band-aids and we just come out of it and we just see him, his face is covered in band-aids. He's just like, I did it. I fixed it. Mm hmm is this how things are supposed to look? Oh. Peek. I don't like that I still don't see the baby. I don't know that we ever will. It might just be something to screw with you psychologically. Oh god. Now I'm afraid I'm gonna go in there and there's gonna be some monster that's massive but just cries like a baby. Uh, that sounds really uncomfortable. And it's like the stick of truth, the South Park game, where you go to the abortion, Reload. the Planned Parenthood, and you fight a giant aborted baby because oh, South Park. Oh, I forgot about that. Reload. You only have one bullet. This okay? Go. Am I wrong, or does this seem like a boss area? It does seem like one, but you're at full health. 
I'll probably need to examine something oh, and then it'll trip me. Oh no. Maybe in the cabinet. Maybe in the cabinet. What? Here, box. Did it stop the crying again? That's twice now. A, a, uh, oh. Okay, here we go. Is it gonna be the dude? Okay. Well, okay, I, just I don't like this at all. Yeah. Anything else for me? Magic cabinet? Okay, nothing. Might as well. See if we can't get some healing. Items. Okay, yeah, here we go. Okay. Okay, we got a lot of them. Yeah, at least take out a couple like this. Yeah, and now I'm actually not even sure we can attack the other dude. Because we yeah, certainly didn't true. get the option to before. No, he was just a cutscene quick time event. All right. And there's steel pipe on the ground. Right. Oh, can't. Well, uh, we'll leave, just leave that there for when this bar inevitably. Okay, no, it's it? just them. Just four. All right, you cool. see the light coming between those cracks over there. Oh, I can't even put it in the toolbox anymore? Oh, your toolbox is full? The toolbox oh, has limited? Wait, wait, before you go this way, did you see the light shining between the two boxes back there? Oh, no, I did not. Back in the room really quickly, look to your right. Your right? Yeah. Uh, that's it's where I just peeked through from. Oh, is the it? other side. Oh, uh, okay, never mind then. Yeah. Waste of time. Imagine if you're playing RE2 and you're loading up like your safe box with ammo or like typewriter ribbons and it just says, oh, nope, sorry, nothing else. At, at least, oh, yeah, at least that's infinite. I will, we're gonna wanna check out these rooms. Yeah, it's like, can I even get inside? Oh, no, I can. There's more bloody toilets. Okay, nothing. I do like that there is the very inconspicuous glitter on the floor when there is something I can interact with. Definitely yeah. just lets me glance and then continue on with my day. It prevents you wasting a bunch of time. Yeah. Because that's if there's anything that this game wants to do, it's prevent you from wasting time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> not, not super comfortable with the giant black stains on the wall that look conspicuously like the stains that enemies come out of. Yeah, not... Oh, hey, there was something in that toilet, wasn't there? Oh. It looked like it was bubbling. Uh, I don't see anything in that one. Oh, it was just a bad texture. It was the shadow wiggling. Oh, hello. Oh, I can flush. Flush the meat. Bye, goop. Maybe I've just been playing too much Psychonauts, because, like, the whole last area of that... <laughs> the whole last oh. area of that game has to do with meat. But, like... It's not worth it to go back and get the bar. Still had a prompt to observe that toilet once you flushed it, by the way. I think it's just, like, there's nothing I can do with this now. Because oh. I think I can observe anything. Yeah, nothing if you're interested. Okay. Enough. Uh, maybe there would be an item in the toilet once it drained. Resident Evil loves to do that. Excuse me. Mm. What was that? Oh, there you are. I was going to say I heard a noise. Why didn't you introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm you walk away. Let you uh, die? You say let you die? Absolutely, of course. Uh, don't want to tell you, but I think you're already dead. Um, but like the last area in Psychonauts is very meat themed, without any spoilers, because it is such a phenomenal game. Okay. Um, and so the meat texture from here just looks like those like early 2000s meat textures that they use in that. This is very cartoony meat. Oh, cool. We killed this guy and he had soul stabilizer. Exactly what we need. Yeah, for when you're about to crap yourself. Oh, hey, some coffee. And we like that. We love our coffee. A couple more items? Nope. Tentacle just coming through the thing. Oh, there's another one. Yeah. That's a bad guy. Nothing else there. He hasn't even figured out I'm here yet. He never will. <laughs> he just has an itch on his back. He's trying to scratch. I thought his head was, like, all contorted and weird, but no, that was just a ponytail. <laughs> okay, so now that I know I can just destroy this... I kind of want to just, just to do it. Or is this going to take forever? Oh, no, oh, not that no. long. 
Same ex it takes the same exact time to destroy this giant thing of wood as it does to destroy a tiny fence. And we may need to run back through here again later. Might as well go ahead oh, and Oh, true. This does feel yeah. very much like a... Okay, there's just a lot of them. I love if you look in the background, you can see those two guys back there just did the same exact turnaround animation. Oh, yeah. That's it. Okay, dude. Okay, uh -oh. okay. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. That guy just said kink me. <laughs> I think it may have been kill you, but that would be funny. Just use the... I'm sorry? The gold lift? Did we just wander into Ava's section from RE2? Kind of looks like it. Hey, that there's probably something behind this wood on oh, either side. Absolutely. I mean, hey, maybe it is Ava. Stiletto heals. Oh, fair enough. All right, what's ooh? What have we here? We get some Batman gadgets then. Oh. Hey. So that gotcha. It's not gonna let us go down without that there. The gear fits the recess like a glove. We should be able to move the elevator now. So I this don't... is all the same lumber mill, right? Yeah. This, like, giant bat cave looking place with, um, by the way, we meant to point it out before, we just walked down a hallway that uh, three different times we passed rows of four bathrooms on each side. Like, uh, People what the hell is that? People here were used in the bathroom. They love the bathroom. <laughs> like, we, we are a lumber mill. We don't sell a lot of lumber. We don't ha we don't have a lot of inventory, but we pride ourselves on our bathrooms. That's right. Yeah, there's a metal back there. It's not. What's the point? Like, I'm getting so much money and I'm not spending any of it. Like, there's no. Actually, now that I say that, this definitely seems like the kind of game where, like, right before the final chapter, they're like, "Oh, your car broke down. You need to pay four thousand dollars to repair it." Mm-hmm. But we're also not buying anything, so... Wait, we're going up? Okay. I will... I will say. That surprised me. Was not expecting us to go up. Why is oh. this moving elevator the smoothest part of the game? Oh! Oh! I spoke too soon. Uh, that didn't last long. Yeah, we're not exactly at the top. Oh... Oh, are we about to have some combat? Uh, peek. Peek at the sparks. Huh? Or, oh, what? what Stick your hand in the wall. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, gross. Oh, ooh. I hate the noise. What are you? What <sighs> is it? Oh, okay. Vines. Red hair. Damaged red hair. You pulled it out of the wall? That's disgusting. Why did it sound wet? I have no idea. Quick, someone, Ramona Flowers is stuck in the wall. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get a little bit more of the picture. What is going on? Like, hey. even the other stuff that didn't make sense, I was kind of like, I see where the game's internal logic is going. But I straight up don't understand what just happened. He reached into a flat wall texture where there was no hole and pulled out some hair. He's seeing something we're not. Maybe he it? Maybe. Ooh, maybe that's it. Even within the game itself, he's seeing stuff we're not seeing. Uh, he's breaking the code. Oh, okay. So that does look like another woman. Yep. Yeah. So maybe the murderer... Was the woman in the stilettos? Those, those teeth were really detailed, and I was not a fan. Once again, the game picks and chooses where it wants to put the effort. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, my God. Those Plastic. sparks. Those sparks that we saw in the elevator, that was the hair. Oh. Because now it's gone, but for some reason, they just only they had him reach into the wall. That's so weird. Hey, you might want to switch to a melee weapon here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, dude. 
Oh, he just did a mid-air kick? That's pretty badass. Weapon. Do I even have? No, I don't. I only have the knife. All right, let's do it. And yeah, that's much better. Yeah. And the knife is lasting us quite a while. And the old arcade beat em up elevator level, that's standard. Oh yeah. Last time I saw one of these levels was like... I want to say a Lego video game. Or maybe a movie game, like a movie tie-in game. I don't even remember. <laughs> oh. Oh, we finally got- oh. That was a very long elevator ride. This place is very tall. I will also give them credit, there wasn't a loading screen. We did just load into the next area. Looks like the power is out. We'll need to restore- Why do we need to take the elevator again? Huh. Got to get back down eventually. Maybe. Unless he's jumping out a window. Oh yeah, dude, this is the- Why have we not been using the knife? Knife is awesome. Alright, is there anything back here? Well, what is this? What have we here? There was definitely a triangle prompt back there on the wall. Oh, good eye. I did not see that. Yeah, it was only up there for a moment, there at the corner. Oh, yeah. observe. The motor looks intact. It might move again, providing we restore power. Okay. Okay. Stuff right. we already knew. Yes. So let's... It looks like that's the only way to go, but I'm going to observe. Is there anything down this way? Can I go this way? That looks like it's... That wall looks like it's breathing. No, it's not, but it is made of something. And what's this? Yeah. Lollipop. Oh, lollipop! Bum, the bum, one bum, constant bum. is the lollipops in just completely bizarre places. And you can find candy anywhere in this world. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and save it right here. And it's a tad bit shorter than the last episode, but I figure... Um, oh, whoa, whoa, hold on. Okay. Yes. E. I figure now would be a pretty good spot to cap it. Because this seems suspiciously like a boss is about to happen. Could be. Yeah. I mean, there's a save point. There's giant doors. There's nowhere else to go. So mm -hmm. we're going to cap it here and pick this up in the next episode. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Like the video. If you like the video, share the video. If you want to share the video, subscribe if you want to as well. I would really appreciate it. I have been Jacob, and you have been wonderful. And this has been Deadly Premonition. And this has also been Professor J. Tell me your favorite candy in the comments below. <laughs> yeah, favorite favorite candy and least favorite candy. And oh. we'll, if you want to see our answers, you'll have to watch the next episode. So we'll pick this up then. See you guys there. Adios.